Hello, Leo viewers. Just bear with my camera a minute here. It usually takes a minute to uh, adjust as I put the cards down. As always, if you'd like a private reading from me, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. So you can just copy and paste it. My donation links are below. I appreciate your donations. Everything is in the description box. And please like and share and subscribe if it resonates. So let's get right into it. What is going on with you guys? What do you need to know right now? Page of Swords. The Star. Judgment. I'm getting an incoming message here. That's what's coming through. Three of Cups. The Moon. Nine of Swords. Queen of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, the Six of Wands, Death, which isn't a bad thing, it's just an ending. Clarify the Death card. Put a couple up here. Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords are clarifying Death. And then Nine of Cups. Okay. Someone, so looking at these cards, someone's making a judgment about a third party situation. Someone is making a final choice between you and someone else. It looks like that's coming to, you guys are going to have some kind of breakthrough. It looks like to me this person's choosing whoever is in the Queen of Pentacles energy and they're moving away from whoever is in the Queen of Swords energy. So I'll put these cards down here and I'll tell you the story that I'm feeling here. So, and this could also just be, this could be you. This could also be you choosing someone. Uh, it's just third party energy in general. So take it as it resonates because this could also be, a third party isn't always a person. This could also be someone that's been choosing work over you, um, priorita prioritizing, um, you know, the opinions of family or friends over, over your opinions, prioritizing work and just other social obligations over you. And it looks like something is coming to a head here. Like there's going to be some kind of breakthrough here is what I'm feeling, where this person's going to be pushed to choose one way or another. This could be through an ultimatum. It could be, it just seems like the energy is wrapping up here. Like a karmic cycle is ending. We have the death card, which is about ending, and then we have a new cycle beginning. So it looks like someone's making a judgment call. And keep in mind, too, with third parties, you don't necessarily have to be, it doesn't mean that you're in a third party situation for sure. I mean, it could also mean that there's a third party in the sense that you're, you're, the person that you're dating isn't over their ex. They might still be connected to someone. They might still be in love with someone and they're trying to move on with you, but you can feel that they haven't fully given their ex up. And to me, this is saying that that's, there's going to be some kind of closure here. There's going to be some kind of clarity, some kind of breakthrough where you guys are getting to that next level. You know, even if they're not with this person, because I don't want people to panic. I don't want, want, I don't want people to be like, oh my God, does this mean they're cheating on me? No, not necessarily. I mean, you know what your story is for some people. Yes, it's a third party in the traditional sense where, you know, it, someone is juggling two people, but for others, it maybe you're just, maybe your person's just emotionally unavailable and they haven't been able to give you everything because they've been tied down by work or they've been tied down, you know, hung up over an ex that they're having a hard time getting uh, letting go of and it just feels like this energy is wrapping up so we have page of swords page is off, often about i don't know why i'm so like jumbled like someone here is so it's a weird energy i'm channeling I'm, like flustered almost 
Uh, Page of Swords. So Page is often about messages. And Page of Swords particularly, this could be an incoming message, message that's kind of harsh, direct, unexpected. It feels like with the star, someone's, there's some hope here. Someone's planting seeds. Someone's making a judgment call regarding a third party situation. Someone is using their intuition. I feel like maybe they've been sweeping things under the rug. But I feel like someone is going to recognize that they've been in Nine of Swords energy because of a Queen of Swords. And this could be, you know, take it as it resonates. Like I said, this could be over a person, but this could also be someone that's just male or female. You know, it could be a male that's in Queen of Swords energy. Just take it as it resonates. But it could also be a job or someone that's just had to be in this Queen of Swords energy because of everything going on around them. But for others, I feel like, you know, your person has been in the Nine of Swords energy because of a Queen of Swords. Like, they've been in, this is insomnia, uh, anxiety, stress, just not being able to sleep, not being able to think clearly, just worrying, just exhaustion. I mean, you can kind of tune into that energy there. It's like this person just feels like they just can't take it anymore, like they can't handle anything. They're just so overwhelmed by life. You know, this person's kind of in a dark place. And they've been juggling two different things, be it people, be it a job and a person, you know, whatever it, it may be. It's a, it's a third party energy in general here. And it looks like with the moon, they're using their intuition, like they're taking the blindfold off. They're seeing this. They're seeing this person's true colors. There's, so this could be a toxic karmic that you're dealing with. If you're in a third party situation, like, you know, the karmic is toxic, you know, that he or she has been causing your person this, you know, anxiety, insomnia, depression, stress, just all this heavy energy, like you've known it for a while intuitively, but this person's been in denial about it. I feel like maybe with their stress and their anxiety, they've, they've tried to blame other people or other situations instead of whatever this third party energy is like they've. It's like they've just had this blindfold on. They haven't been willing to acknowledge where this energy is coming from. And what I'm getting here is that a lot of their anxiety, I feel like some for some, I feel like your person might have an anxiety disorder. Um, full disclosure, I can't diagnose anyone. But I feel like your person could have, because I'm channeling something really specific here. I'm feeling like your person might have an anxiety disorder or they might have like... Um, like bipolar or they just have like this, it's bipolar like energy. It might not actually be the disorder itself, but it's almost like they're not themselves when they're connected to this queen of swords, male or female. It's like they kind of lost themselves in this energy. And so how do I explain this? It's like this queen of swords energy comes through your person, but it's not actually them. So let's say your person is connected to this queen of swords and this queen of swords has anxiety and depression and mental illness and um, control issues and anger and all this other, you know, all this mental instability, your, your love, your, you know, that this person here that's juggling the two of you picks up all of the queen of swords energy. He, he or she transmutes this for the queen of swords because they have those red cords intact. I feel like this person picks up, on the queen of swords energy and um i mean i feel like it's like the red cords for some this for some this queen of swords is a psychic vampire and she knows your person's empathic here so like he or she willingly gives that gives them that energy like this person is kind of um I want to say like a savior type. How do I, it's an interesting energy that I'm channeling. Sorry, sometimes I don't know why I'm so jumbled and flustered with this reading. I got to be channeling some weird energy here. Some weird, like, it's like go, 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 go. Like just chaotic energy that I'm channeling. But sometimes when I channel too, it just, it gets a little flustered. But anyway, it just feels like, how do I explain this? It's almost like this, like your person is kind of like a savior type. Like they want to be respected. They want to be the hero. They want to be admired and loved. Like, they care a lot about what people think, not in a fake way, but just more like they just, they want to get along with everybody. They want to be looked up to. They want to be respected. They want to be seen as a real man or a real woman or, you know, um, 
And when I say a real man or a real woman, I'm not talking about um, gender or anything like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm talking about someone that's just respectable, someone that's strong, someone that knows who they are, what they want. You know, it's got nothing to do with gender identity or anything like that. I'm just saying that they, that in, in the context of, you know, they, they want to be respected. They want to be understood and loved. They want to, um, be in the public eye is kind of what I'm feeling. Like this could be someone that's already in the public eye or just someone that a lot of people look up to. And I feel like this Queen of Swords takes advantage of that. It feels it almost feels like Ten of Wands energy to me too here. Like where where this person is willing to take on all her bullshit, all his or her bullshit. And you know the Queen of Swords lets them. It's, it's like a very one-sided connection where it's like this queen of swords is exploiting this person that's in the nine of swords energy. Your person that's juggling the two of you that's in the, in this person's in the nine of swords energy. It's like the, um, the queen of swords exploits them because they see that in them. They see that they, you know, the queen of swords sees that this person wants to be the hero, that they want to be respected. And so this person is easy to gaslight. And it's easy for the Queen of Swords to put all his or her burdens on this person. To put all the weight, all the responsibility, all the pressure on this person. Because the Queen of Swords knows that this person is the type that will just take it. And so I feel like the Queen of Swords really uses this. And I'm just going to say she because it's easier. But, you know, if it's he, it could be she or he. So don't get caught up on gender. But, um... But yeah, with your person, it feels like she just really puts all the weight on him. Like she just, she, if she's got an issue, it's just, it's on him to fix it. It's like she doesn't want to have to be responsible. She doesn't want to have to, to think for herself. To it, It's weird. It's a weird energy. Cause it's like she might be controlling, but it's like some part of her doesn't want responsibility. Like she doesn't want to have to fend for herself or think for herself. She doesn't want to have to figure things out on her own. Um, and so this person that's kind of like the more heroic type, you know, the person, it's like the empath, the person that just wants to help everybody, the person that's, you know, going to see the best in everybody. It's just so easy for her to take advantage of him because he'll take on all that responsibility for her, you know? Like, oh, she's she's tired, she's exhausted, okay, he's going to take care of everything. I feel like she gaslights him, and I feel like she plays that up. Like, she knows she knows how to appeal to that side of him, and she knows how to guilt trip him, and how to get him to, um, to, you know what I mean? It's just one of those, it's that energy where it's like, oh, like, I'm so tired. Do you think that you, you know, could you pick my kids up from school, or like... Could you do my laundry for me or could you um, could you take care of this or take care of that? And she knows how to play soft and innocent and weak, the helpless little victim to appeal to his hero side, you know. And she knows how to guilt trip him if he, if he says no, like, oh, okay, sorry. I just figured maybe, you know, you'd want to support me since I thought you loved me, you know, just, just very manipulative. So there's that dynamic to be aware of right there um but it feels like he's using his intuition he or she is using their intuition with the moon here it's like they're noticing this now they didn't i don't think they noticed this pattern before and it's also because of the red cords between these these two and the, the cords need to be cut you know this person needs to cut the cords here but it just feels like yeah with the moon they're noticing this. They didn't notice it before. They just took on all the responsibility and all the weight, all the burdens. There's this, uh, I don't know what the song name is. I was going to say, all your weight, it falls on me. It brings me down. I've heard that song so many times. I forget who it's by though. But anyway, yeah, they're noticing this energy exchange now. They're using their intuition. They're really looking at this in a more honest light. Whereas before, I feel like they just... They let this person gaslight them into thinking that's just normal in a relationship. And if, if he doesn't do her laundry, if he doesn't do this and this and this, then he's an abusive dick. You know what I mean? Like she had him, she had him like pussy whipped or like on like a leash. You know what I mean? Like he, 
there's like a certain mentality this person had. And I think that, yeah, I think they're using their intuition now and they're looking at this and they're like, wait a minute, like uh, my friends don't have relationships like that. Like my friends have relationships where it's just open, honest, like the communication just flows. It's, it's not stagnant like it is. There isn't the control issues, the power struggle, like, like they're, this person's becoming more intuitive and they're listening to their intuition and they're noticing, I feel like they're really tuning into how their body feels around this person. Like, cause I'm getting like, I'm feeling like a tightness. Like, you know, when you, when your body is like tense, like you just feel like you can just feel it. Like you can just, it's like your body is just like tense. You're just like you can't relax, like you're on edge. It's like this person's noticing that they feel this way around this person. They notice that they don't feel like they can be themselves. They don't feel like it's like their body, something about their body, like the way their body feels is coming through really strongly. Like they're, they're noticing their body's intuition. They're noticing that the way they feel with you versus the way they feel with them is different. Like their body is very relaxed with you. And with this person, it could also be sexual too, like where the sex is just a lot different. But I feel like it's also something like with their back or with their, um, like their upper body. It's like their body feels like really tense around this person. Like their posture is just different with this person than it is when they're with you. You can even, maybe you can even notice it between, you know, between you two. It's like, it's like they just feel like a tense energy here. It's like a trap. Like you can kind of feel like if you tune into your body's intuition, it's like you can kind of feel when there's a block there. It's like something just feels wrong. Something feels off. It's like you don't feel like you can fully relax or fully be yourself. And this person is using their intuition and recognizing that this is coming from the queen of swords. Because before I think they made these excuses and they're like, oh, it's because I've been working a lot or it's because, you know, I had an argument with my, my, my parents or this happened or that happened. And now they're like, wait a minute. No, like this always happens when I'm around this queen of swords. This always happens when it's like throat chakra blocks to you is what I'm getting. But yeah, it's really beautiful that they're taking the blindfold off. They're using their intuition. They're running towards the queen of pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, you might have manifested this person through reconciliation magic for some of you, not for all of you. You could also just be a witch or ma magician yourself. Maybe you haven't even manifested them through magic, but maybe you just um, are just in that energy where, you know, the world is your oyster and you're just manifesting whatever you want. Like you might not even consciously be doing magic, but it's like your spirit is doing magic. Like you're just kind of putting intention in, you know what I mean? Like you might not even be doing any spell work. You might just be like feeling the energy of having it now. Like you just have like this confidence, like you know that this is for you. You know that this other person doesn't really compare to you. You know that that's a karmic relationship that they're in. And you know, you've seen the truth about the person all along. And now your person's finally seeing the truth that you tried to wake them up to as well. It feels like they're running towards you with the seven of swords, the queen of pentacles, the magician, it's like they're running towards the Queen of Pentacles and there's a death to the relationship with the um, the Queen of Swords. It's kind of, this energy to me is messy though. It's like they're running towards the Seven of Pentacles. They're running, I don't know why I said the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. They're running towards the Queen of Pentacles, but it almost feels like messy to me. Where it's like, Seven of Swords can be dishonesty. It's also escapism. So it's almost like they're just... It's like unexpected where they just run to you to pick up the pieces. Like it's almost like a tower moment. Like just kind of like unexpected chaotic change. Almost like all your manifestations coming in at once or just this energy that you've been feeling like picking up on them and then you, it just suddenly comes to a, to a head like having that breakthrough. Six of Wands is about being in the public eye, too. I feel like they're going to want to go public with you. Because you might have been a secret before, and I feel like they're going to want to make it public. They're going to want it to be just you and them. Yeah, because they want to build with you, Three of Pentacles. They want that new start, you know, communication, clarity. Could be something that kind of just wakes them up all of a sudden, like an epiphany, you know, wish fulfillment. They know that they want you. They're making that decision. 
Unless you're the Queen of Swords, but I don't think most of you are. I think most of you are the Queen of Pentacles. But I mean, I guess if you are in a relation, like if you are in a connection where it's like a karmic connection and you've been holding on to it and you know that it's time for you to go your separate ways and your person knows, then that could be a warning to you too where it's like, you know, because I mean, like, because some of you could be the Queen of Swords. You could be the one in this energy where it's like you guys are both having anxiety holding on to each other. And it could be a warning that that's coming to a head in your person's you know, leaving you to choose the Queen of Pentacles instead. But for most of you, I think you're already the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. Okay, just give me some um, something to end this reading with, just some clarification here. Six of Cups reverse, Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person's letting go of the nostalgia because they want... It's like a final battle here. Knight of Swords, loyalty, stability, vows, making promises to you. Seeing things uh, in a long-term perspective. The Two of Swords. Knight of Cups. Five of Swords. Could still be some ups and downs and dramas, but ultimately, if this is your story, I see this person coming towards you quickly and choosing you. They're facing that truth. It's like they're doing shadow work and they're they're being introspective and they're digging deep. I feel like your person's been going through a really dark period, like Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords energy, and they're coming out of that energy now. It's like they're about to be into the Ten of Swords energy and they're they're having that breakthrough. It was what it feels like to me. And it just seems like... Yeah, it seems like they're doing some soul searching. Like they're coming out. Some are going through a dark night of the soul and they're coming into like a psychic awakening right now. And they're, you know, they're doing this soul searching and really being honest with themselves finally and, you know, choosing to, to come forward with the Knight of Cups. There might still be some drama here, but they're still coming forward quickly regardless of the drama. Yeah, they want this cycle of, of juggling other people to be over with. They want, yeah, they want Ten of Pentacles. They want stability with you. They want this cycle completed. They want, what I'm getting really strongly with the Six of Wands, which is coming out really strongly, is that they want to go public with you. Some of you, it's like you guys were never public, like you were kind of like the third party. And I'm really getting that they want to let their friends and family and everybody else know that you guys are together. That's coming through really strongly. Like, they want, they don't want the Two of Pentacles anymore. Like, you juggling other people, them juggling other people, they don't want any of that anymore. They want just you and them to be public. They want it out, they want the world to know that you guys are together. You know, they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. Stability, this is like home, family, this is like everything. You know, success, lovers, Four of Swords. Yeah, this person's healing and letting the third party go with the Ten of Swords. It's like they have that breakthrough. It's been causing them too much anxiety. It could even be causing them financial issues. They want this new start with you now. They don't want to keep doing that with the third party. Yeah, it's just heartbreak with the third party. They want a new life. They want a new start. And they're taking control of themselves, of their emotions, of what they want. They're not, they're not being submissive and passive anymore. They're letting go. They have a new perspective some kind of breakthrough coming in is what I'm feeling, like an epiphany, just psychic awareness, going through a psychic awakening that's, you know, making them want to go forward towards this new life. So that's what I have for you. As always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My All my information is in the description box below. Uh, please share. Maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this message. And please subscribe. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.